Today we're diving into back workouts and exploring how a simple tweak in your grips, positions and widths with exercises such as rows and vertical pulling can completely revolutionize your workout. Let's start with rows. Rows are a staple of any back workout, but did you know that by adjusting your grip you can target different muscle groups? When you bring your hands closer together, you're primarily targeting your lats. This grip variation is perfect for those looking to add width to their back. On the other hand, widening your grip shifts the focus to the rhomboids and mid traps more and your lats slightly less. This variation helps build thickness in your back, giving you that coveted V taper physique. Keeping your elbows close to your body during rows emphasizes the lats even further, helping you achieve that coveted V-shaped back. By pulling the weight towards your upper chest and slightly outward, you engage your rhomboids and mid traps, while also giving your rear delt a good workout. On the other hand, pulling the weight towards your hips puts more emphasis on the lats, helping you achieve that V-shaped back. There's no significant difference with overhand, neutral and underhand grip. Overhand grip entails more flared elbows, while neutral grip results in a more flushed position. And underhand grips allows for a natural inward movement of the elbows. Vertical pulling. Vertical pulling exercises like pull-ups and lat pull-downs are essential for building a well-rounded back. Here's how adjusting your grip can enhance your vertical pulling routine. Opting for a narrow grip during vertical pulls stretches the lats more, providing a deeper contraction and better overall development. While wider grips are great for variation, they don't necessarily target the lats more effectively. However, they can still provide a challenging workout and add diversity to your routine. Whether you keep your elbows flushed or slightly out during vertical pulls, both variations hit the back in a similar way. Just ensure that your elbows point towards your hips. Experiment with different elbow positions to find what works best for you. When it comes to vertical pulling, the height at which you pull the weight can make a subtle yet significant difference. Pulling the weight either to the nipple line or clavicle doesn't have a major impact on muscle activation. It's all about variation and personal preference. Opting for an overhand grip adds an extra challenge to your vertical pulls and may promote slightly better lat growth. The effectiveness of neutral or underhand grips depends on your elbow position. Experiment with different grip styles to determine what feels most comfortable and effective to you. Next time you hit the gym, mix things up and see how different grips can elevate your back gains to new heights. Thanks for watching and make sure to like and subscribe for more fitness tips.